welcome everyone, my name is Fleur and in this yin meditation we're going to go into the deeper tissues and the joints in our yin session and in our meditation. We're going to also work a little bit with pranayama, so working into our breath. So that's where we're going to start, is to bring the body into the state of calmness. Find a comfortable seat, you might sit cross-legged, you might sit on some blocks or maybe a rolled up towel or some pillows. If cross-legged isn't for you, then please sit in any other way that is comfortable. And let's start with just finding some time to settle. So this is usually the bit where we fidget a lot, where we're like, hmm, this is not comfortable, I have to change. So something that just helps to know what you know is feeling comfortable and just test for a few moments, just to see if you can relax. Sometimes things ease into it, so you might find that you know, when we fidget too much, we'll never really get comfortable. We have to actually give it a little bit of time. And that's also the same with the practice of yoga and meditation, or with anything in life. You know, if you do anything like a fitness class or workout class, you wouldn't just do it once and expect the most amazing of the results. You keep coming back, you test what works for you, you test, you know, how much is the right amount for you. And the same it is with yin and with meditation. So with meditation, we also want to try out, you know, different ways, different lengths of time. So we'll just begin by bringing our hands onto the thighs or the knees. And then when you're ready, just let the eyes close. And notice how you feel. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. You just notice. And there's different things to notice. Of course, you might notice still some sounds that you hear around you. You might notice the body. You might notice any discomfort. And see if you can allow this discomfort to just be there. Or if not, you can just still shift it. Sometimes tension in the neck and shoulders will gradually soften and ease. If you imagine the arms are heavy, the neck is long. You might notice emotions come up. But most likely it's going to be thoughts that come up. And there's different natures of thoughts that we drift off into. And the more aware we become of these thoughts, the more we're able to come back to something that anchors us, which is the tools that we use in our meditation to bring us back into the present moment. So the thoughts that might come up might be things of the past, the story that have happened to you. It might be thoughts of the future, like daydreaming or imagining things that might happen. It might be lists, like I have to do this and that, and have I done this and have I done that? Or it might be judgmental thoughts. Thoughts like, oh, what's she going to say next? Or, oh, I'm, I'm not being very still in this meditation. Or, you know, anything that is judgmental. So these are the kind of thoughts that might come up. And that's absolutely normal. And they might come up often. They might come up, you know, at different times. Same thoughts might arise. And when we are aware of them, that's actually when we can just notice them and come back to the anchors. And the anchors in different forms of meditation could be something like just bringing the mind to the breath. And just notice how your breath is now. And try not to change it because sometimes when we place our awareness to the breath, the breath automatically shifts and changes as if we're placing awareness on it. He wants to slow down or speed up. So imagine you're outside of your breath and your breath is just individually without any output input doing its own thing. Notice the four stages of the breath. So you inhale, the little pause, the exhale and again the little pause. Moving 
moving from stage to stage. Noticing that each breath is different. Now another anchor that you could use in your practice could be your body. So you might notice the weight of your limbs on the floor. For example, your sit bones or your legs. And when we go to the yin poses later, you might feel other parts connecting to the floor. Or you might find the lightness in other parts, the space as you breathe. So let's work with these two grounding anchors for today. Let's take a couple of minutes just to sit silently before we move on to our pranayama. Notice your breath or notice your body. And when thoughts arise, as they do have the habit to arise, but very gently and compassionately, you can just bring your mind back to your breath, to your body. And as you sit here and breathe, you might like to try to gently, very gently, ease out your exhales a little bit. Not forcing it, but just easing out the exhales, making it just that slight little bit longer. Still in your comfortable zone, just softening, just letting the exhales be a little bit longer, maybe a fraction of a second. Letting the belly be soft as you inhale. So that the breath easily can fall into the whole of your body. And then from here, let's work a little bit into the pranayama, the three-part breath. So we're going to split up our inhale into three parts with a little pause after zip of air. And then we're going to exhale. We're going to do that a few times. And then we're going to switch and do the same on the exhale. So let's begin. Breathe out. Just normally. And the next time you inhale, just pause just where your belly button is. Little pause. And then breathe in a little bit more just to your chest. And pause. And a little bit more just to your throat or collarbones. If your whole body is full of air, take a little pause. And then exhaling out slowly, fully. Let's do that again, breathing in just to the belly button and a little bit higher just to the chest, to the heart 
and a little bit higher to the throat and a little pause. And again, breathing out smoothly and carefully. And one more time this way, to the belly button, to the chest, and to the throat. Not so much that you feel stuff there. And exhaling all the way out, and then do two more rounds in your own time, with your own rhythm. Just noticing these pauses, these little stops. Noticing how it feels to stop the breath. How it feels to breathe out afterwards. And when you've done two more, just let the breath come back normally and naturally. Notice how it is now, what effect it had on you. And then we're going to do the reverse. So, sorry, we're now gonna do the pauses on the exhale. So just take one breath in and one breath out. And then a breath in again, not too much, just naturally, normally. And then just breathe down just to where your collarbones are. And pause, and down towards the chest pause and imagine all the way down to the belly button and out feeling the slight contraction of the lower belly pause and then inhaling try not to gasp for air so just let the breath come back in and again breathing out just to the throat or collarbones just a little breath and pause and again down towards the chest and down towards the belly button and out until the breath is over, and then breathe back in again. And do three times more in your own time, and again explore how it works for you. So that's just a gentle pause, not like a strenuous pause, not gasping for air. Just enjoying this little play with your exhale. Especially notice the pause right at the end of the third exhale. Feel that little space where we are fully present, where you're really in the moment. And then allow the normal breath to come back in when you've finished your round. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale if you like, sigh it out. <sighs> okay. And then you can blink your eyes open. And let's come to our first yin pose. So if you have a bolster, you can use it. If you don't have a bolster, maybe you could roll up one of your pillows with a towel. So making it really nice and firm. And then placing maybe a book, like a bigger, thick dictionary or something, or a couple of novels. Um, underneath your roll of towel and pillow. You might like another pillow right at the head bit and see if you can come as close to your roll up pillow. Depending on how long it is, um, you might want another pillow there so it's along the spine. And then lie back, take your time to lie back and maybe see if it feels okay with the head on your pillow. Sometimes the chin comes up so if that's the case, just place something under the head and then you can either cross your legs and the shins or you can bring the soles of the feet together. Now, if this is really intense for you, I suggest something, having like a, a long belt or scarf and placing the scarf around your hips so you have to sort of go into it and then around your ankles. Oh, that's fly. There we go. Uh, roll it underneath your ankles and sometimes if you have a belt and that holds your knees in. My belt has just vanished. I had it here. <laughs> I think my child has took it away. Um, otherwise, you can again place some, because we need a lot of pillows, or 
push in further. You can place nice two pillows of cushion underneath your thighs or knees. See how this feels for you. If this is too much, of course, you can just step the feet in or even lay them out low. Okay, and then your arms. Let the arms rest by the side just for a few moments before we move maybe to a position where the arms reach over the head. So let's start with that feeling of the heart opening here. So it's a nice release for uh, the back, for the chest area, so for the heart and lungs. If you have something for the eyes, like a little like a flannel, you can also place it there. We're just going to stay here for a while because it's a really nice pose to relax into and take some of the stress away that we actually encounter a lot during our day. So whenever we feel like we have to do so much or we're feeling um, overwhelmed or have work at home or toddlers. <laughs> And even if you don't have any of that and you just feel like, oh, my day was a little bit boring, this is a nice way to just open up the heart space and imagine that you're gaining energy through your heart space, through the space of love, and you're giving yourself this nice self-care. Feel how deep your breath can be now. Again, not forcing ourselves into breathing deeper, but just feeling that we can allow ourselves to breathe in a way that is really nourishing for us. And I'll leave you here for a few minutes while you just breathe and enjoy. And of course, at any point, if you now like to take your arms over the head and hold your elbows for a little bit extra for opening through the shoulders and the chest, you can do that too. Let your weight of your body sink into the floor, into your prop construction. Again, if you notice any thoughts that are distracting you or taking you to a place away from the sensations or your breath, just notice them and bring your mind back to your anchors. slowly just another few breath here slowly if your arms were over the head take them back down now if your legs were apart you can bring the legs back together with the help of your hands so just push the thighs together pushing the hands into the thighs and then you can roll yourself over to one side, take your time, and you can either remove your props or just lie here for a moment on your side. And notice the shift as you're lying on the side of again feeling heavy on the floor. Long breath in and out. And from here, pushing the top hand into the floor straighten out the top leg and come up into a tabletop position. Remove your props for a moment and come into a cat cow. So from here just 
opening the chest and then rounding in a little cow. And again, with your breath, but inhaling to open, exhaling to round or reverse the breath. Try that out. Noticing again how the spine feels now. Beautiful. Okay, and then from here, let's come to a little puppy dog position. So you can have your bolster or your cow pillow in front of you. Placing your forehead on your bolster, and you can either reach the arms forward, so it's a nice little support for your arms. If you don't need the pillow, you can also roll it to the side and maybe bring your forehead on the floor. Try and keep the arms straight. If you don't have a pillow or a bolster, you could do one arm at a time, so bending your right, it's that the right elbow, bending the right elbow in, because I just started, and then resting your forehead on your forearm, and then lengthening your left arm away, and feeling that stretch under the armpit. So you decide, you can build yourself a little prop or pillow underneath your forehead so that your arms rest on it as well. Should feel again quite nice and relaxed. And again, notice the breath. So another heart opener here. Another work into our kidney meridian that is activated here in this back bend. And of course the heart and the lungs. Especially good in this cold time, in this time when we not raise our arms up to enjoy the sunshine. If you have one arm out, then change over to the other side. Otherwise, just stay here, or halfway. taking a deep breath in and then exhale sigh it out and then bring the hands back underneath the shoulders push the floor away and then from here you can either just stretch one leg out at a time for a moment a little stretch out through the legs gently or if you like you can come to a downward dog so just feel how the downward dog feels in the shoulders draw the heels to the floor and you can also paddle it out so back towards your toes. You're hiding on the mind with my shirt here. <laughs> okay, little walk out, feel what feels good, and then roll a little into the hips maybe. And then coming forwards again, bring your knees down to the floor. We're gonna to come to one more pose. So from here, open your legs wide into a straddle. And if this feels quite tight in your inner hamstring, you might have to bend your knees, relax your feet so you're not flexing the feet, so you might have to take your socks off because I'm always slipping on my, my mat. And you might want to hold your ankles and then fold forward. Because what we want to avoid is sort of something like this, where you try to reach your toes and pull. So you want to relax into it. Um, you might also sit on something like a pillow or towel that gives you a little bit more leverage. And if you're okay with your legs straight, 
then see if you can just bring your hands forward and again notice if you're doing the sort of I'm trying to reach somewhere because that is just the mind wanting to go or achieve something we're not trying to achieve anything we're just relaxing into it and feeling the inside of our legs in this pose maybe also the lower back and maybe also your neck and then if you have some props that could be quite nice to have you know if you have a bolster it's quite nice to sort of have the bolster in front of you and then see if you can just relax the head on top of the top of the bolster or if you have your pillow and some books make sure that you have not too hard books maybe like have a pillow over the books you might like to rest your elbows on that. So as long as you feel something here on the inside, and if you're quite open, you can just maybe find that place where you feel the first contact. And then try not to be too ambitious. I always have that ambition of, of trying to get to the floor, which we probably all have is, mm, I want to be open and go to the floor. But sometimes our body's not ready and it depends on how we're feeling that day. So as soon as I feel something, I pause. And then I notice my neck. So check what your neck's doing and see if you can relax the neck. And then at one point, when I've given my body a little bit of time, I stay still. And just stay in that position where I can observe. And where I can come back to just observing the breath and noticing if the breath is again smooth and calm. And if it's not, see if you can change or shift a little, maybe coming a little higher. And you can imagine someone who you care about deeply and who you really trust and who you love asking you for advice about the pose you're doing, asking how can, how would you make this more yin-like? How would you make that even softer for yourself? And not as a request or not as a critic, critique, but just as out of interest, like a child asking, like, how do you do that? What, what do you do? And you, without having to answer verbally, just do it with your body. So how can you make this pose even more yin-like, even more relaxed? And so our last pose. So really enjoying that you can let go even more. Maybe it's a deep breath. And then coming back to the soft breath. Maybe it's a sigh. Maybe it's just, just a feeling of, you can allow yourself, you can allow yourself to just be. couple more minutes here so we have that space and if you notice that you've gone a little far remember you can always just pause or come out a little bit making it right for you no struggle
little slowly, taking a breath in and sighing it out. And then rolling yourself up slowly. Bring your legs together. Lift one knee and the other. Shake the legs out for a moment. And then you can roll yourself onto your back. Maybe make it comfortable for you. Maybe you want to bring the knees in for a moment. So having a little hug of the knees, rocking side to side. And when you're ready, stretch your legs out one by one. Give them again a little shake. Sometimes it's nice to just bring the bolster underneath your knees or your pillows. The hands can rest on your belly or by your side. Look up and close your eyes. Just check something one moment. Someone's going to hoover, but they're not. <laughs> and then just relax onto your back. Relax your shoulders. Relax your hips and buttocks. Relax your feet. Relax your arms and your head. And stay again with this feeling of grounding, of releasing into the earth. Of letting go. Enjoying that, doing nothing for a few moments. Not having anything to do, but lie. This time of peace and stillness for yourself. And if you notice your mind jumping ahead of what's coming next, just bring it back to your breath. You're safe, you're here, this is your time. your body on the floor and I'll bring you back. Of course if you want to lie longer you can pause the video and stay for as long as you like. Check in with yourself what you need and otherwise take a breath in, start to move your fingers and toes, wiggle your feet and then reach your arms over your head, stretch out your body, make yourself long and strong like an arrow and then you can hug your knees into your chest and squeeze yourself give yourself a really lovely hug really like a loving thankful hug for your body for you this time you gave for yourself thank yourself for taking this time out and then you can roll over to one side or you can if you feel Energize, you can rock up and down the spine with a little momentum using a little bit of your core, rocking up and down, massaging your back. If you're lying on the side, just gently again push yourself up and come to a seated position. And then when you're ready, just find again a still pose. Just arrive in this seated pose again. Closing the eyes. Noticing the breath, your body. And then bringing the hands to your heart center, lift your heart to your hands. 
and take something from the practice with you that you'd like to cultivate throughout the rest of your day or the week. Something that is meaningful to you. And maybe something you've noticed that you'd like to let go of. And letting go of something is also a practice we have to continuously do, especially if you have negative thought pattern. You sometimes have to do this again and again and again. So if you've noticed any, anything, then you can just gently allow this to be released. Just imagine you're thanking it for what it tried to guide you with, but now you can release it. So let's take a deep breath in and then sigh it out. And one more breathing in, what you need. And sigh it out. And the last one, that energizing breath. And sigh it out. And let's close with one mantra of Om. Breathing into chant. everyone for joining me here. Please check out the other videos that I have on this channel or you can also find some more videos on my channel which is Fleur Poge Yoga and Pilates or uh, follow me on Instagram or Facebook Fleur Poge Yoga and Pilates. I hope to see you again. Thank you so much.